Yo y'all, and welcome back to another part where we once again return and remain in Coco's lab, where we are now going to go back through these five levels again. Very interesting experience to get the Platinum Relics, so yeah, wish me luck on this one, I'm going to need it, so before we begin this one, I'm going to put this straight into software mode right now, and I don't know if you just saw that, I just saw a glitch of Force of Nature, so yeah, I don't know why it does that. If you pause the game as well, sometimes it can actually uh, make it do some weird thing where it can actually show you a screenshot of the last level you're in, so yeah, very weird stuff. So anyway, here we go, so time trial time, so yep, yeah, wish me luck on this one. Hopefully this one goes all well. But the good thing is, we have started out with Aku Aku Invincibility, so that means that if I'm quick enough, I can just charge straight through these enemies unhurt, and of course, I mistimed it, so I lost one as well in return, so yeah, that is a major bummer, so thankfully there's no hammers here to crush you, and I just timed that ball right, so... Right, I have not timed these spikes properly, so uh, maybe I could have gone there, but I feel this is going to be a little bit of a slow run. We will see, but I'm hoping I can at least get a platinum. Ah, no, no. Let me die. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so it's, of course, a very interesting experience when you're begging to die, so. Absolutely, so. But at least I'm going to pick the Echo Echo up anyway, because I know I'm going to get stunned. So, hopefully I can get around that guard without having to, yes I can, without having to use a slow kick, which is just ridiculous, the slow. I would never use that in a time trial, never, because getting the platinum with that thing is going to be virtually impossible. Oh, okay, so I got past that. I thought I was going to get crushed then, but no, I was not. I was going to risk that, but I'm glad I didn't now, so... Yeah, the controls are not the most precise in this game as there was in, let's say, Crash 4 or Insane or the original trilogy. But, you know, they're certainly not horrible. So I'm going to take a risky jump. Yes, there we go. So, yeah, risks have to be taken when you're going for Platinums in this game. God knows what the developer times are, but I am not going to be attempting this. This is not the part of this Let's Play. This is not the whole point of this Let's Play. It's just to get the main progress done. And even for that, I only need to go for gold, but I'm not. I am going all out on platinum, so... Because I am that daredevil, so... Yes, yeah, so, just gotta keep... Uh, keep running, and never stop running. Because in this level, this was where I messed up really bad in my race against... Uh, Dessert Monkey, I still won it, but the thing was, I uh, I did die quite a few times towards the end, so 40-50. Yay, it's Platinum, nice, so uh, yeah, we dealt with that one, so let's get back out of here, so at least that's one down. I think that's the, because I struggled quite a lot with the Gauntlet, remember? Gauntlet was not the easiest one to get the Relic in, but I did it in the end, but this one... I got pretty much first try, apart from that death near the start, so Ghost Town. This one, you've got to choose a strategy. You can either go for all the crates, that are time crates, or you can go the quickest route every time. Oh, route, I don't know why I said route, I am not an American, but... Yeah, but anyway, uh, so I think I'm going to go for the crates, because time crates are quite precious. Okay, so I missed that, but I'm not going to worry too much because I can go for it on the next time around. So, I'm probably going to go through the cave last, so... Uh... But I think I have got the hang of this now, so... You know, with how many times I died on the last part that I've just recorded directly before this, I think I should know where I'm going now. I really should, because... I usually have a good sense of direction, but the problem is, I'm always bound to uh, mess something up sooner or later, so, yeah. So 
So I'm not going to win the race, but you know, that really does not matter at this point. What really does matter is getting this uh, relic, because for some reason these never pick up. I can't ever pick them up, so yeah. Interestingly enough, I lost the race, and it's slowing me down now. So 27... What? What happened there? Oh, are you telling me I've got to win the race in order to get the relic? What kind of BS is this? Oh well, uh, let's hopefully this time. I'm going to get this because... Yeah, that's really annoying. That like you have to have first place in order to get a relic, so... I think I'm going to go the slowest routes on the first laps. So maybe I should go for the cave next. Yeah, I'll go for the cave next. Because, uh... I can do that, so... And maybe this time, I'm actually going to get first place, because I think that's a bit unfair, because if you've got the fastest time, you're still... This of all levels has been the hardest level, the most troublesome level these last few parts. How does that even add up? It actually really does not add up at all. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever that this is turning out to be the hardest level. It really isn't. So, yes, this time we're going to go right, but we're going to avoid the cave. And of course, uh, yes, Crunch takes it, of course. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to go in a straight line. I don't really need to touch any controls, because I should, in theory, be able to win this. I'm just going to take the quickest route at the end, or what seems quickest route, so that's going to be right, and then left. So that's how we get first place, so there is a strategy, you go which way first, which makes no sense, because this is actually a little bit slower than last time. I still got the Platinum, but that was slower time than last time, and I still got first place, so maybe this level is a bit, yeah, I can understand the criticism a bit more now, so. So if you take, yeah, but it doesn't matter, because in real life, no matter how you do it, if you're going for all them crates, It'll be just as fast. In fact, that was actually slower. So, yeah, that's very weird. I wonder if it's just a game of luck. Whether Crunch wins this or not. So, uh... So, this one. I can't see this being too hard to get the relic. Once I've passed the polar bear. Because bouncing off... Because they do have a wide hitbox. The walls of them rings. So, I did it once. But if I don't do it again... I think I should still be good for this platinum. Because... This is a ridiculously easy level, like I said in the last part, so... But we're just going to find out what happens anyway, so... Kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, one of the minigames. The uh, the flight minigame in Monkey Monastery in Spider Went of a Dragonfly. It really does. This has always reminded me of that. Also, in this game, unlike Crash 3, if you pop the balloons and don't break the crates, the timer still freezes. So, yeah, they have actually sort of, in ways, made this game easier. I know this does not have the easiest time relic by any means at all, but, you know, still, this, these vehicle levels have too easy time relics, I think. You know, it's a bit unbalanced. Can we do under 40? Yeah, oh, 40 10. I nearly had it. But it still gets a platinum, so I'd have thought the 40 would have been a good time for platinum, but maybe that's me just expecting the game to be too hard. <laughs> you know, Wrath of Cortex doesn't really need to be all that hard a game, but. Yep. Yeah. Really cool stuff, so here we go with Solar Bola once again, so. Uh... Yeah, fingers crossed. This one is not going to be the hardest because. Force of Nature is going to be the hardest, I can tell, but if I get all these first go, well, virtually first go, or very easily, I'm just going to say very easily, that's a good way to put it, I'm going to be very surprised, because usually I struggle with these atmosphere levels, and these, uh, you know, the snowboard mechanic, especially in this, you know, sixth warp room, Coco's Lab, that's the actual name of it, by the way, I forgot to say that in the last part, uh, I don't know why I missed that, I just did. Maybe it was just a dumb mistake on my behalf, but you know. You can't really get everything perfect. You really cannot, so. You know, a lot of people would agree to me on me. Uh, I missed a load of crates there, 
Oh, damn it. So, yeah, I'm just going to avoid them. And I'm just going to keep going. Because, you know, you can make a mistake. I mean, it's like car racing in real life. You can make a mistake. You can have a crash and you can still win a race. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding there. That actually has happened in motorsports before. So, you know, I'm just going to take that bit of motivation. And I'm going to just keep going and see if I can still win this. So, there we go. What do we get? 25, 35? Yes, platinum. So, yes, I was right. Awesome. Yes, so, yeah, I'm not going to be one of these people who's like, I'm always right. No, 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 that is not the case at all. But I actually did come up with a good theory there. So, yes. So, we've only been going 11 minutes, if that. And we're already on to the last level. So, these time relics, I'm not having a hard time in this world with at all. Now, force of nature, watch us be on this for half an hour. I swear to God, watch us be on this for like half an hour. This would be... So yeah, anyway, uh, running shoes on for that first part. Not only makes a difference because the time is not there. You never in crash games get the timer until you're on the vehicle. Apart from in Ensign's crash shoes, uh, totally bare. And that's it, pretty much. But... Unless you want to, like, count building bridges and bears repeating from uh, Crash 4. But, I mean, I think that's a bit irrelevant at this point. But, yeah, so I've got the Aku Aku. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to floor it. My finger is glued with Gorilla Glue to the circle button. Well, no, that would be a bit stupid because not only will it ruin my controller, I'll take some skin off. Oh, you know what, I want to restart that because that three second crate I know is of importance. But as I say, not only would it ruin my controller or cause a nightmare to my skin, it would probably require a surgical procedure to uh, remove my hands from the controller. So, <laughs> Especially with the circle button, which you don't want to have spammed all the time. So I definitely don't want to be doing that. So, uh, you know, it's one of my main fears. It actually is one of my main fears of all times, having to have surgery. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to go with the old-fashioned way of holding my finger to the circle button and there we go with invincibility so fingers crossed that is going to do something at least so there we go so we got that three second crate so i think once that is done and out of the way i shall fear not so uh there we go so uh yeah, oh right, I, I thought I was going to miss that two second crate then, but no. <laughs> that was actually, uh, I actually got pretty lucky with that one. Awesome, so, uh, yes, there we go with that one. So, we're just going to keep it going now, and, uh, yeah. I'm just concentrating, that's why I'm not talking much. I'm going to sacrifice an Aku Aku here because I know that my time is better than Aku Aku's. And what are we going to get? Come on. Running shoes, running shoes. Under 40 seconds, so 39.20. That's going to be it. Yes! Awesome. So there we go. Uh, that's that done then. So, yeah. Good part. So, I think I'm going to leave that for recording for today. Hopefully, by the time I record the next part, uh, I might hear something about Wumpa League. Maybe, not, maybe, maybe not. But... You know, let's leave this place now. But if we don't, you know, I'm not going to keep waiting because we could be waiting until this time next year for an announcement of something. So when it comes to the time to record, I will be recording. So, yeah, that's the uh, guns I'm going to stick to. So there we go, everyone. So, of course, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And I will indeed see you all in the next part where we'll go back and remain some missing gems like this level here, for example. And also a power-up in the next world as well. So yes, we've missed a few things along the way. So yeah, so there we go, everyone. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part. And I will indeed see you all back in Warp Room 1 once again. So yes, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks all for watching. I love you all. Peace out and have a good one. Bye.